And welcome back, guys, for another FFT Arena match here. Um, this is Audubon's second match uh, that I'm doing today. So, um, his other new team uh, will be facing off against CT5 Holy's team, who's on top. Um, CT5 Holy's team is Delay Buster, um, while Audubon's team is the Crazy 8 Crew. So, to take a look at these two teams real quick, um, we have Pestermite the Monk. Slapatron 3000 the Mime, Punchy the Monk, and Slashy the Dancer. So, as usual with CT5 Holy, um, these are about big damage and um, also has an underlying strategy here of using Last Dance against the enemy. Um, this Monk stays in place with the Iron Boots, very tanky, um, immune to a lot of statuses, 10 speeds so that... Um, uh, she doesn't interrupt her own last dance. Um, auto potion on yielding. Th that's her only job, is to use last dance. Um, she has stigma magic, revive, uh, I'm sorry, not revive, stigma magic, chakra, and uh, last dance. I believe that's it. Um, maybe secret fist, in case the enemy gets close. Um, but that's it. She, That is her job, is to use last dance. She does nothing else. Um, Slapatron 3000 the Mime, um, pretty, you know, PA heavy for a Mime anyway. Um, two swords, meaning he'll, he will punch people twice. And, um, yeah, pretty, pretty evasive due to power wrist and Mime's natural evasion of 30%. Um, Genji armor to increase his speed a little bit. Yeah. This is a monk, strong monk, 18 PA. Uh, power wrist again to increase evasion a little bit. Um, basically, I think he just has like repeating fist and wave fist and a few other skills. Steel, um, he just has quickening. Martial arts to give him an effect of 27 PA for his uh, moves that he uses. Move plus one just to get him a little bit closer to the enemy sooner. And a two-handed dancer. Um, with two hands, she has an effective 30 PA with this blood sword. So watch out for that. We're talking 300 damage pre-fury. Um, and that will uh, usually restore her HP completely. Um, she has move HP up in case uh, she goes into critical. The AI doesn't know that it can heal itself by slashing someone. Um, so it, it will... Uh, you know, be able to use uh, that. Um, it does have. She does have item X potion and Phoenix down. That's all she has, and she also has last dance. So she's just going to be using last dance until she gets into range of the enemy. Um, flash hat just to make her a little bit more uh, tanky to some of the elements, um, and then battle boots uh, just to get her closer to the enemy. Um, so, yep, that's his team versus Audubon's newest team. Um, basically, these guys all have 8 move. Um, so we have 8 ball, the mediator. 8 legged, the ninja. 8 items, the thief. And 8 sword, bard. So what we've got is we've got a mediator here. Um, dual, dual wielding mediator. Um, I actually used a set up recently like this, but, um, Repel Knife Mage Masher. So basically going for, like, Don't Act, and then to, um, I believe Sap MP. Um, Green Beret, just to give her more the move, um, just stay in the theme with the team. Red Shoes, same thing. A few talk skills, um, and for Drought, I believe she has, uh, like, Masamune, Murasame, maybe something else, um, but yeah, duh. Um, this is a ninja, dual cutters, platina dagger. Um, you've seen this combo before. Concentrate, uh, very, very effective combo. He's going to be running all over the place, and he doesn't care about evasion. So um, that's good, unless they do blind him, but I don't think uh, CT5 Holy has anything with blind. Um, black costume, absorbs fire, black hood for the HP and MP. 
Um, I believe he just has Kajasogi. Um, I think. He might have something else if I'm... I, but I believe it's Kajasogi. And then, like, just the, the usual basic skills. Heal, Wish, um... He's a throw stone. So definitely watch out for him. Um, throw item thief, just an item bot here. Um, she she has a few items. Um, and how she stays in, in line with the team is she has flee, so if she gets in critical, she'll um you know, she'll have eight move. Uh, Dracula Mantle to prevent Berserk and to give her a little bit of evade. So um, when she's not using items, she's going around trying to annoy people with throwing knife or steel heart, um, stealing their accessory, whatever, um, the case may be. And finally a bard here, um, draw out bard. We've seen these guys in action, batch attack up, um, so he's going to be that much more damaging. If he does get an MA save in, that, uh, he'll hit the break point of the next, uh, level, and he'll be very very strong. Um, again, Flea will give him 8 move when he when he does uh, go into critical. Um, usually the AI will heal then run, um, but sometimes with Murasame, because, it, because it's not smart targeting and because it uh, heals everyone around, sometimes they do run. Um, not all the time though, sometimes they just heal the enemy. But we will see. So those, those are the teams. Um, two pretty heavily offensive teams going at it. Um, so we'll see what happens here. For our first map, we're going to go to uh, map 101, which is a uh, tutorial one. So good luck to both of you here. We shall see what happens. We're going to start the last dance. But she gets put to sleep immediately. So no dancing for her. Wow. And uh, she starts off eva evading very quickly, actually. So we'll see if the dancer can get off her last dance. And mine gets don't act it. CT0 only hits on the bar. And very high damage repeating fist. And very high damage sword whack. Ninja does get healed up. Goes back after the mime. Death sentence on the dancer. And cheery on the monk. So, Audubon is starting off really well here. Does take out the ninja though. And the dancer takes out the bard. Bard gets rezzed, but I'm not sure if he'll stay up. And Monk goes down. So that Dancer's going to go down soon. Mime's already down, so... Mime goes right back down. Dancer will go down soon, and Autobo should be taking round one after they deal with that other monk. And now she's death sentenced, so the rest of the team will just stay back. She's going to go for last dance, but it doesn't matter. Especially since Ninja has throw stone. Bag whack does nothing. And she does go down, so Autobo does take round one. Round two is going to be taking place on Z-Klaus Desert. So round one, um, the 
The dancing monk got put to sleep very early in the match. And didn't get any last dances off. Um, the dancer got one off, but all she did was hit the bard, and that did not do much. Especially because the mime was already donated and put down pretty quickly. So this is a much larger map. So they may get some dances off this time. Meanwhile, Audubon's using quickening quite a bit. CP0 on two units. I think that's three units total that uh, got hit with Last Dance. Mime gets Don't Moved. And Ninja takes a big wave trip. Ooh, CT0 hits three units. And it hits this thief, too. Wow. So... Ooh, Mime goes for bandage instead of... Instead of taking out the ninja. But Ninja misses his turn again. So that monk should be able to take him out now. Maybe? Yeah, he's going down. Bard not in range to do anything. Last Dance misses everyone. That Last Dance hits the Thief. Mime does stack a little bit of damage on the Bard. Thief does get hit again. The bar does go down. Oh, and a mimic wave fist. Not for a lot of damage, but... All damage does help. And Mediator gets hit this time. Cancer heals herself up a little bit. As well as mine. And gets hit with a strong wave fist. Mime takes out the Mediator. That Thief is really fast. And that Ninja will move back now. Last Dance just hits the Bard this time. The Bard goes right back down. Thief is a good item bot, but Phoenix Down's not going to be enough this time. Both of them just got hit with a last dance, which does affect the Thief because she's very fast. And Dancer's dancing again. And all that Thief can do is keep uh, using Phoenix Down. CT0 on the Thief again. So Bard goes back down. And now that Thief is in danger.
And Thief's CT gets reset again. 51% shot does connect, and Ninja does block. Does bring the Mediator back, but I don't think it's enough. Mediator CT gets reset even. Monk puts her back down. And they just have to hunt down that ninja now. Ooh, and Wish even misses. That's too bad. The ninja did just go, but... Ninja does go down to Wave Fist, so CT5 Holy does take round two. We're going to go to a round three. And round three is going to take place on Poeska's Lake. So last match, um... Proved that CT5 Holy's team is much more effective on a larger map. Or he just got lucky. We don't know. Um, we shall see, though. Uh, Poeska's Lake is medium-sized map, so, um, we shall see what happens here. Lots of quickening going off again. Only the bard gets hit, but the mime is still gonna go. Yep, only the bard this time. Dancer, dancer should be going off soon, but they might be able to stop it. Indeed they do, with a Mimic Derivon. And I don't know if that was don't move or don't act. Death sentence on the uh, monk. Bar doesn't mind healing him up since he is death sentence. And since the mime is don't acted, there will be no mimic. Ninja does go down, but Thief is right there to resin. Death sentence on that monk. So. It does look like Audible will be taking round three. Don't move and don't act. And Monk does not even try to uh, help his buddies out. Yep, so we are now just waiting for them to get one more turn each, and uh, Autobo should be winning this match. Kiyomori, just in case. And Monk does go down, so Autobo does take round three. Good game.